Using measurements is important for accuracy. Correct measurements are crucial in the real world. In some experiments, if you are off by just a small amount, disastrous consequences could be made. For example, if Walter White's measurements were incorrect when cooking his famous blue meth, he could have blown up his whole meth lab. A meniscus is the curved upper surface of a liquid in a tube. It occurs because the water molecules in contact with the glass begin to crawl up the edge of the container. To read the volume with a meniscus, one must read using the bottom of the meniscus. Always estimate one past the last graduation on the cylinder. Wow! This is an example of a meniscus in a pipette. The value of the meniscus reads 5.54 milliliters. Start by priming the pipette by rinsing with water three times to clean it, then with the solution three times to rinse out any leftover water that would give a diluting effect. Let's take a look at how Amy measures volume from a pipette by reading from the meniscus. The initial volume is 2.21. The final volume is 2.92. The volume in the beaker amounts to be 0.71 milliliters, and I found that by subtracting the initial volume from the final volume. Next, we'll look at how Forrest conducts the experiment. The initial volume is 2.59. The final volume is 3.18. The transfer volume is 0.37 milliliters. That is equal to the initial volume subtracted from the final volume. Now let's see how Deepa conducts the experiment. The initial volume is 1.82. The final volume is 2.63. This is the transfer volume, 0.81 milliliters. We found this by subtracting the final minus the initial. Finally, we'll see how Zach conducts the experiment. The initial volume is 1.6. Zero. The final volume is 2.4. Zero. This is the transfer volume. We got it by subtracting the final volume by the initial volume. Down. These are our calculations for our initial volumes, final volumes, and the volume transferred. As you can see, all the volumes are measured to two decimal places. Wow. And that is how you measure the volume using a meniscus. Now you can go create a meth empire and not be concerned about any problems resulting from incorrect measurements.